morning so i got the buggy in the shop today and i've got it half tore apart all the plastic on the inside of the buggy and i'm gonna put a heater in and i'm just getting ready to uh go at the hoses and put my uh y's and stuff and here's the parts i have uh picked up i got these uh, aluminum y's and aluminum shut off i picked up this this heater core and i got some rad hose so i'm gonna put these uh these pieces in this buggy and i'm gonna start with uh, uh cutting the pipes off and adding my my new hoses to my for my coolant and to the heater and i'll just kind of give you a show i got her all tore apart inside all right now she's uh, she's stripped so i can get at everything i'm gonna probably check the belt while i got it tore apart i'm on the driver's side here and i'm gonna take off this uh shroud so i can get at the pipes and see where how i'm gonna do this not sure how much more i'm gonna have to take out here so to show you what i'm looking at here that pipe there i do believe is the one i want to tie into and that is very short if this would have been rubber that would have been rubber i could have tied in anywhere here but that's not allowing me a whole lot of room so that's the line i want to be on that goes to the upper rad so that's the line i want to connect to and i think this is where i'm going to have to connect to the system because there's just no way that i will be able to get it underneath the motor all right so this is where i tied in my hot line and i've got tinfoil wrap on that line so inside I've got the hot coming this way, and I've got the cold down here. I'm gonna have to tie it up. There you go. Tie it up in here. So we'll tie it, tie it up alongside that one, and we're gonna come out back here and then up into the rat, the heater core. So at this point, not too bad. Find some zip ties and I'll zip tie that stuff there. So I've got the heater all installed in the buggy. And we're ready to go for a rip. We're gonna go for a rip on some groomed winter trails. So we'll see how the, the heater works this weekend. So just a review, I tied the heater into the upper rad line for my hot side and I returned it to the low side of the rad for the cold. So that's how we did it. It's all kind of done on the front of the engine or front of the bike to uh, hook, do all the hookups. As you see in the pictures, you'll see how they're hooked up. I also have a valve installed so I can restrict the line a little bit just to give a little more heat back to the heater. So I'll give you a, I'll show you how I got the heater all installed in the machine. So the heater is installed just behind the two front seats and just ahead of the back seats. And there's still room for the passengers and the heater hoses go down on the driver's side behind the driver's seat. It may be a little bit in the way of the passenger but we don't have as many passengers as we do in the front. I also took the time and tidied up a little bit of the machine. I moved the rugged radio up on this bar um, to get it out of the way. I had it quickly mounted low and I didn't like where it was and I moved my mirror. And I also added a tinted strip to see if that will help with the sun when we're driving into the sun. So just a couple things I've been trying to, uh, to make a little better for the machine. Some of the issues that I had or what I planned because this isn't a kit I planned on hooking all the pipes right beside the driver's seat opposite the gas tank. Well, the pipes are too short. I didn't realize the pipes went from rubber to steel up to the front. So everything is hooked up right up here. So the pipe, the hoses are quite long. Now I insulated the hoses to try to keep some of the heat. Uh, 
All right, so I've got all my plumbing hooked up. I, I found some instructions for the Inferno heater and I did it the way they did it. So I hooked the hot line on the upper red hose, right, right parallel with the battery. The cold line coming from the heater is hooked up to the bottom red hose and it goes back to the engine. Now, something I did is I put a valve to be able to restrict the flow that's going to the rad. Uh, I can close it a quarter just to give a little more pressure to go to the heater and uh, get a little more heat out of it. I'm going to try it fully open, see how that works. And then I can play with the restricted a little bit and I'll just keep an eye on it. all this for less than $250. All the hose, the connections, and the heater core. Because I got the heater core for $100 on Kijiji. I follow a channel called Biff's Equipment and he's got a Kubota tractor and he installed a heater in his Kubota tractor. He got the heater core from Wish. So if you don't like where I put the heater core, right back here between the seats, which I don't feel is going to be in any way any problem other than you'll hear the heat the blower you could buy the small heater core from wish and just set it right underneath your glove box right in this area and that would work well too your ho heater hoses would be shorter maybe that would be better and the one on wish has three outlets so if you wanted to put a deflector down and they're not very big so i think there would still be lots of room if you mounted it here to put heat down to the floor and you could put heat that way. Uh, I think that would work. Now, another thing about the Inferno is they have a duck, a hole down here, and I'm not sure if that's sucking air in or putting it out. I haven't looked. I got a, a guy I know that's put one in. So I'm gonna check his out, some chance I get to uh, talk to him. And they also put right in the dash a vent for the windshield. But because I have the flip up windshield and this lip, that's not gonna do me any good because it's not gonna hit the windshield, it's just gonna deflect, it's not gonna thaw out the windshield. Um, now I'm gonna put an elbow like I've got here and point it towards the windshield. And this thing blows hard enough that I think it's gonna keep the windshield thawed out. And I don't think it'll be any issue. So that's where we're at. We're gonna go out this weekend. We're gonna do some groomed winter trails. Uh, it'll be the first time we'll be on some groomed winter trails uh, this winter. So we're gonna try that and see how it is. And we'll just play her by ear. And I'll let you know how we make out. I'll do some videos this weekend and kind of give a review on how it, it all works. So you have a great day. We'll see you in the next clip. So this is a portion of the trails that we ran on Saturday. We uh, did 117 kilometers, left at 10 o'clock in the morning, and got back at 6.30 in the evening. And the heater worked very well. It kept us nice and toasty as we did our little trip through northern New Brunswick. If you enjoy these videos, I'd ask you to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. There'll be more videos coming. In the near future, I'm going to do a complete video of this trail system that we were on, whole 117 kilometers. Have a great day. God bless.